All right, so we made it to the Navajo Bridge Visitor Center. And it's, uh, this is the passport station, and they have four stamps here. Yes. So we finally got into our extra pages. That's this right here, the expander pack. So we're going to start some uh, stamps here and just stick those in there. So let's get all this ready here. All right. Navajo Bridge. Vermilion Cliffs, which is what we're going into right now. So we did realize that the different regions are color coded. Yep. So like this one is yellow and therefore it's gonna be yellow. Yes. Vermilion Cliffs. All right. Navajo, Navajo Bridge. Bridge. This is oh, where we're at so right glad. now. This is a really cool location too, by the way. You gotta stop here. You do. The bridge is amazing and I bought some insane jewelry. Yes. Navajo Bridge. All right. Now the big one. Now we get to do the big boy right here. Yeah. Antelope. So it should be this way right here. Let me see it. Yeah. There you go. Antelope. That is amazing. So what's really cool, we just got to do that too. Yes, we did. All right. So there we go. There's our All right. some more stand for our book. Awesome. There's our new pages. See if we can get them in there. Now we've got more room to add more stamps. Yep. I only grabbed two, but there's uh, plenty in the expander pack there. Yeah. That we can add to the book here. Just got to get those in there. So there it is. Yeah. Right next to Grand Staircase Escalante. <laughs> yes. We're filling it up. Look at all that. This is what happens when you have extremely high winds. Uh, I stopped and was stopped in the wrong place. When I, when I went to crack the door from the inside, the winds took the door and just ripped it wide open. So that's where it wants to stop going in right there. It basically did this. It just went all the way around and the inner part of the door hit the hinge there. So it's jacked. <laughs> it's extremely windy out here. Just a minute ago, all the dust was kicking across here. That's the Colorado, by the way. <laughs> Beautiful plate. Here comes that dust.
this is a weird place to start this video, but we want to we want to document this and share with you what we've been uh, what we've been dealing with today in the Page, Arizona area. Wow, is what I got to say. Wow. Wow. I am holding on to this with the grip of right. like. <laughs> there you go. See, I didn't even touch it. <laughs> All right. Okay. To, uh, to give you a, a quick overview of uh, what we've been dealing with today is extremely strong winds in the Page, Arizona. Well, the whole region around here. 30 to 50 mile per hour winds sustained. In, in some places with gusts, they said up to 70 miles an hour. Yeah. We have certainly seen what we call tropical storm force winds yes. around here today uh, on yes. our excursion. And uh, I was extremely nervous about our Kodiak but uh, luckily we got back and it is, uh, it is right side up and hopefully it'll stay that way. But everything that was down, that was outside is on the ground. Yep. Um, but we I got put most- your, I put your lanterns thank up. Thank you. We got most of, you know, we put the chairs away cause we knew yep. they'd be over there and they would have been. But I mean, it's, this really doesn't even show it, but no. look, look out there. It kind of, everything looks a little hazy, but like, I don't know if you can kind of see past that camper there out that way toward Navajo mountain. Everything is, looked like a dust bowl today. It is dust and sand that you're seeing. And this is light right now compared to yes, what we have is. experienced all day. Yes. Um, it has been extremely windy Yeah. and this a little is, scary, honestly. This, I mean, we, we went through that windstorm in Colorado. It wasn't like this. <laughs> this is worse than that one. Yes. And we thought that one was bad. I was telling yes. Abby as we were, we just got back from town on our little excursion. We wanted to uh, talk a little bit about our day. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't get a lot of video today, especially with a GoPro. We, uh, it was just so windy today that I didn't want to try to deal with it. But we got a few little videos that we'll throw in this and talk about what we saw today. So there's some of those gusts ah. right there. There's the sand, sand in the face. I think I have at least a beach in my <laughs> eyes yeah. today, at least a beach. We were behind a couple 18 wheelers coming up uh, 89 and 89A. And I was watching for those things to flip over. I, know. I seriously it, was. Yeah. It looked like the sand was blowing across the road at 50 miles an yeah. hour. And when we got to the Walmart, it was entirely full of campers. Oh yeah. And I understand why. So. Yeah. It just makes me so nervous right here I know. with this wind. This is strong wind right here. Yes. So it feels like we're standing in a tropical storm. Yes, it does. See it? Yeah, it's, this is not crazy. This is not conducive for a, uh, a state sticker. Yeah, so we wanted yeah. to put our stickers on. That's not even really working out too well. I don't is think it? we should. I think well, we should wait. When we got back, the um, these pads were slid off over there, and look, it's already moved again. So it's it's moving, it's it's bending, but are we gonna have to pull our slide in? No, we're I gonna mean, leave the slide where it's at. But what, we're, what we want to do, our plan was to get a video today of putting our Arizona travel sticker on our map. And yes. that's what we're going to do. I wanted to put all of our new stickers on there, but it's going to wait because it's just too yeah. windy. Yeah. But I want to show you guys putting our Arizona sticker on. I still need to come over here and clean it oh, off. Oh, so we are going to still do this? Yes. Just you're going to wait on the others. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to wait on that. Maybe we'll do those tomorrow. I mean... This is, so, a, this is a forehand job here. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. <laughs> so let's do this and we'll talk a little bit more about what we got into today. And I have something else that I want to show uh, them too. Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I here, don't even know if you're like going to be able to hear this. All right, there's our sticker right okay. there. See, what, see what's on it? It's where we are. Yes, it's where yes. we are. The Colorado River and Grand Canyon. Everything yes. out here looks like this right here. Yes. We saw some absolutely amazing places today. We did. All right. Okay, I got my hand on it. All right, I'm gonna try to get the, uh, <laughs> the sticker off here. This is comical, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's a comical. It's like, why not capture it? It's, it's, this it's is a comical crazy. amount of All right, you got this? I have it, yeah. All right. <laughs> if I can get her lined up here, good. Yay! Bam, there we go. <laughs> Arizona, yay! Arizona, uh, yay. We'll come back with the camera and get a, get a picture I, right there. I gotta tell you, we were just laughing in the car. 
you know that there are people who arrived today and they're like, this place sucks, it's so windy. That's what, we were joking about that. I'm like, yes, go back and tell all your friends, this place exactly, sucks. this place sucks. No, this place is it's like the, incredible. It's, it's the like rocks the, are killing my legs right now. The oh. reviews that you'll see, like on national parks, <laughs> this place sucked, it was windy and dusty, one star. One star. <laughs> go ahead and tell all your friends that. <laughs> all right, so we got it up. Yep, we got our. I'm so excited. There's our Arizona. We've I got, love this place. We've got a bunch more stickers to put we up do. here of all the places that we've been uh, in Arizona. We've already got our New Mexico stickers up, so we've got several for Arizona. We'll do that tomorrow. Seriously, you can't walk 10 feet without stepping into another we, insanely gorgeous place. Yeah. In Page. We it's we took insane. a drive. We took a drive. Let's see if it's a little better right over here. Okay, hold on. It's not, it's a little better right here. Oh, the Kodiak's okay, kind of blocking Thank us. Thank you, Kodiak. So we took a drive. We were going to do some off-roading today. Yes. And it ended up the roads that I had planned on us going were, were closed. Like you couldn't go down them anymore. So uh, we picked Marble Canyon and Lee's Ferry as an yeah. area that we wanted to go and see. Lee's Ferry is, is a part of the uh, Glen Canyon Recreational Area. And it was wonderful. Yep. So we went and we stopped at the Navajo Bridge. And we got some more cancellation stamps there we as did. well. I think Abby got a little video of that, so we'll throw that in there right and here. I bought some Navajo jewelry again. When yep. I see a stand, I'm like, I have to go right there immediately. <laughs> there was <laughs> a nice, my favorite. there was a nice lady there selling her Navajo yes. made jewelry. Yes. So Abby, I got, Abby, um, I did get a little bear. Charm. But what were you saying about the cost though? Well, it was, it's a lot less than, I mean, I would rather buy it from Navajo anyway, because this is the jewelry that I love. Yep. But like, if you go to Santa Fe, it's, it's a lot, a lot more expensive, more expensive yeah. there. So yeah. So that know. was one of your things there, the little yep. bear. It's a little bear. I had to have it. And she told me I needed it, which made me want it even more. Yeah. So she, she did well. Yeah, <laughs> she did well. I am easy to talk into jewelry, so. Well, Abby loves her jewelry. I she do. loves Navajo. She loves I Native do. American made jewelry, I so she got some of so that. Much. We got to see the Navajo Bridge and got some pictures there, a couple of videos. It, it was scary in the wind. It was. It was really scary. In I was the getting wind. a little freaked out. I mean, I'm okay going over bridges, yeah. but it was so windy that yeah. I felt like I was going to get picked up and thrown off that bridge. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm getting but off Even here. my phone, <laughs> like when I was taking it, I was like, this is going to drop down there. Yeah, it's going to get <laughs> thrown out of your hands. And all my beautiful so, pictures are going to be gone. So we, uh, we, we visited that. We stopped and got our stamps. And then we went down to the Lee's Ferry area. And, yeah. um, and the winds were getting worse and worse at that point. And on the way down to Lee's Ferry, we stopped at the, um, we stopped at the Balanced Rock Overlook right there. And that's where we had, <sighs> we had an accident with our Ram truck. You want to go out there so we can show them? I think so. It's not the end of the world, but it is very upsetting what happened. Let me come out here and show you. All right, so we stopped at Lee's Ferry, and it was my fault for stopping with the wind instead of against the wind. And when we stopped, I went to open my door, and the instant that I pulled that latch, my door flew open and it sprung the hinges. Yes. I mean, we were having one of these gusts, like yes. strong gusts that yes. came through and hit us. So no we, we messed up the door look at that poor baby the door and the fender the hinges it's not in alignment anymore so just so, so here so here we go yeah oh so that's see that that's that's where it wants to stop right here yep see see the gap yeah that's, that's where it wants so to stop sad. and then listen to it over here oh so see it's hitting that is metal rubbing together so, so when i we stopped <laughs> And I, I just didn't realize how strong the winds was, the tailwind coming on us. And I reached up and grabbed the handle. And as soon as I did, and it unlocked, it went. It just ripped right out of his hand. And the wind caught it like this yep. and brought it all the way around. I thought it was going to fold all the way. I thought the it was going to, me too. I mean, and it made that loud crunching noise. Yeah. Like, so, I did not think the door was going to close ever again. So I'm I, very glad I that it I was going to make it shut. I was going to come around and just force <laughs> it shut. But this is a really unfortunate thing that happened. I, I feel like it was totally my fault that it happened. And what can you do? Luckily, we can still use it. Yep. It's just we got to deal with that sound. And it's not it's not aligned properly anymore. No. When we were when we were driving back, we had those super strong winds coming through the yep. valley there. And I could hear the wind like trying to cut into that area right there. So that's going to be a nuisance as we're driving all the way home. But we're just going to deal with it. And when we get back, I'll go see a body shop down the road yep. and see about getting it all fixed. So, 
So the winds are supposed to go until 11 tonight. Yeah, so we still have a good six hours of this, yep. six, seven hours yep. of that. But uh, that it really, really upset me when that happened. But yes. what do you do? It's I'm lucky that that's all it is. Yes, you know? yes. If it was a situation where I couldn't even shut the door, we or would Or if it would have gone the other way and got in your hand or hit your head or... Something it was, like that. I mean, it happened in one second. It, it, it was crazy. We stopped. I went. I did like this, and it was just, boom, just flew open. What can you do? Yeah. So. And again, this is not like a normal wind storm. Yeah. This is a. Uh, I I wish crazy. when we were coming down to the campground, the, the road goes out uh, on the hill there. Yeah. And you can see the entire region out here. Yeah. And it looks like a dust bowl. That's yes. really what it looks yes. like. Out there on 89A, uh, headed toward Marble Canyon, past that, that same way out there. It was even worse out there, it seemed like to me. I wonder if you're even going to be able to hear this. <laughs> I think I think they will be. Okay. I think they will be. You want to go in out of this I, I would, Let's yes. finish this conversation inside our Kodiak. How about uh, that? That sounds like a good idea. All right. All right. So <laughs> a little more cozy inside the Kodiak yeah. here. Um, kind of finish out our day we I was trying to remember what where we were at what we were going to talk about but the um the drive down there so our yeah. first stop was the marble marble canyon area beautiful drive yes. minus all the dust that's what really kind of messed up the the scenery yeah. views today was the amount of wind and dust it was crazy you know from florida you really can't see that kind of Ooh. Oh my God, that's so scary. It's it's shaking. It's shaking uh, the whole camera. Oh yeah, my God, babe. You hear it? No good. That is scary. Yep. We might have to go to the brewery. <laughs> oh look, the frames are about to start. I don't get it because we get what? no channels, but. We gotta do something to get our mind off Ooh. this. This is really scary. It's very scary. This I just, I just worry, I just oh. worry about it slipping over. I know. Uh, hopefully, we'll be fine. Everybody else, there's no other, there's no even the small campers aren't rolled over on its side. No. Uh, so hopefully, we can get through the next six or eight hours or so, and we're going to be through with this. But to getting back to our drive there, we took a few little short videos. Most of those are going to be nothing but win, but yeah. we're going to throw those in the video here so you guys get a little bit of, um, you know, see a little bit of what we saw today. The Lee's Ferry area was gorgeous. You're all the way down on the Colorado River. I got to read a little bit about the history there, uh, why it's called that, and you know that's the original um, where people used to be able to cross the river there because that's the lowest point on both sides of the canyon there that you could come all the way down to the river with uh, horse and buggy, basically. Yeah. And then they, uh, then they started a ferry service there, and that ran for 50 years until they built the Navajo Bridge. And that's where all the rafters, I think, uh, start or end. I, I'm not really sure, but there yeah. were a lot of people down there doing that, and not a good day for that. But no, it wasn't a know. good day for that. There was a few people down there. But boating, the but Colorado River is so pretty. I mean, yeah. it's it was really pretty down there. We yeah. got uh, plenty of photos to share, and you can kind of see. This is not very fun. Yeah, it's it's not. We're trying to do a video here. That's really not that. It's, it's really not fun to make a video when you're no, a little nervous about out. the uh, safety yeah. of your, your camper and yourself. Yeah. Um, so we left there and we wanted to drive down a little bit further. We didn't want to make a, a much longer drive than what we did. So we went down a little bit further to the uh, cliff, uh, I'm sorry, cliff dwelling. Yeah. And we got out and we saw that. And then there was a restaurant right next door, the uh, cliff dwelling uh, restaurant. It was really good. I, I'm not kidding you when I say this. Those were some of the best chicken wings I have ever had. I really have. They like, were each one was like this big. <laughs> they were jumbo chicken wings, yeah. so they were like they were the kind of wings that when you order wings, that's what you want. Yeah. They weren't overcooked. They weren't shriveled up real, you know, hard. Uh, the sauce I got that sweet sauce on them. Man, they were so good. I told I told the waitress I said this is. These are the best wings I've ever had. It's too bad you can't go to a restaurant, another restaurant, and order wings like this because they're just not, they're not the same. But that's why you got to go to those little places, you know? <laughs> they're you know? little gems. And as soon as we walked in there and sat down on the patio, the winds were kicking so strong oh through gosh. there. And and I wanted to, I, I got a couple of videos to share of that. But the strongest winds that came through there with all that dust, I did not get on camera because it happened so fast, you just yeah. can't see it. And I looked at the video and it doesn't even look as bad as what it looks like when you're standing there. Yeah. But I was noticing the cars driving by 
and the dust and the wind was matching the speed of the cars that were driving by, you know, going, what, 55 miles an hour, yeah. you know? So we had some they really strong They were not lying when they too. said 30 to 50 miles. I mean, it is, it yep. is sustained too. Yep. Like, it's not like, it's not gusts of 50, it's gusts of 75. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. We don't want to be at 75. That's not good for a travel trailer. No. That, that can turn a travel trailer. There over. are a lot of people that had to cancel their plans today if they Probably were moving. So. Because I am yikes. I told Abby, I'm so thankful that we were not driving today. We wouldn't if, have. We would have canceled our yes. plans and, and uh, stayed here another night. Yes. You know? So how about we just end this now so we can kind of get back to what we want to do here. So I can um, get drunk so I don't have to there you go. be scared. <laughs> down a, down I'm a couple just beers. kidding. <laughs> We were going to go into town and have some dinner tonight because I didn't feel like cooking, but I think we're just going to stay here and make a sandwich or a yep. burrito or something like that. And we're just going to kind of veg here. And uh, tomorrow we start our trek to the uh, next destination. You know what? Just relax. There's nothing that we can do anyway. There's nothing you can do. So nope. we're just going to, we're going to relax and we're going to enjoy. I, so, I love this place. Yeah, this place Do I say great. that about every place? Well, I know we've said that quite a few <laughs> times, but... We really do like this area, especially yes. the you know Page, Arizona, and all the surrounding areas, because there is just so much wonderful places to visit from this point right here. But, and uh, will they have already seen Antelope Canyon? I don't know. I don't because we did that yesterday. No, I think we've already got a video on that. It's we we've, we've done so much that it's starting to run together. I know. And what I was saying earlier was that because it was so windy today. I really just didn't feel like fussing with the camera. Plus, I've done so much filming for all of our adventures. Yeah. Some days I just want a break from having to worry about getting the, getting the camera out and showing everything that I'm seeing. Some days I just want to enjoy what I'm seeing myself and just grab a few photos to share. You're you know? just going to have to come here. That's it. <laughs> You're going to have to come. I do love this uh, RV park, by the way, this campground. It's really great. Yeah. While we is yeah. uh, where we're at, the Wallweep Campground. The location is really, really, really good. And it's between kind of a lot of things that you can get to and... Yeah, it's less, from, from here, from our camper to downtown, it's not even 20 minutes, yeah. uh, 30 minutes to Antelope Canyon. So everything is pretty close. Yeah. And I think a lot of the other places within the region are probably within three, maybe max four hours to yeah. other, other places that you want to go. Grand Canyon's what, two, two and a half hours away, Yeah. you know? So anyway, we'll probably bring you guys back tomorrow because I'd like to get the stickers on. It's going to be cold tomorrow again. 40 for the high tomorrow. Yep, but I plan but on getting windy, our, our new windy. slaps on the back. So we'll um, we'll do that. And uh, if we got something else good to share, we'll do that. I'll, you know, hopefully I've got some other video to share with you of our travels today. Our next location. It's going to be epic. I can't wait. It's going to be epic. Uh, don't spoil it. I'm not going to. We're not going to spoil it. I'm not going to. You guys gonna. are just going to wait for the post. And don't forget... Go follow A Bomb Adventures yeah. on Instagram. Even if you don't do Instagram, go sign up for Instagram yeah. and follow us there because we try to we try to make some posts on the regular basis of what we're getting into yeah. and what we're doing. And I mean, like this place, we've been trying to upload a video, nada. Yeah. So, and the next one, definitely not. So it's going to be a little yeah. bit of time. But on Instagram, I usually can find a signal enough to, to upload. So. Yeah, it's the Wi-Fi out here date. is uh, completely useless. I mean, you might be able yeah. to pull up your email. But if you're going to try to upload something, forget it. Don't even, don't oh, even try to. Oh, darn. I can't, I can't work. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do? We don't even have TV. We don't have, there's no there's air channel. There's not a single channel, so, channel no. so we've been watching uh, some DVDs here at nighttime, yep. you know. But that's okay. We it like is. that. Oh, it's so. nice and calm right now. See? We'll bring you guys back very soon <laughs> and, and kind of follow up on uh, the rest of our evening here.